Okay guys, well, hopefully my audio kicks in here. What I've been trying to promise people is I'm going to finally try to do a tutorial here on color. How to do it, I won't say correctly because there's always so many different ways to do it. But uh, the way I was finally able to do it successfully, I'm going to start out with paint.net. Uh, credit to Lars, Lars02 from the... Pleasant Valley uh, forum group. Uh, I got hooked up with him uh, through NC Raiders basically. He told me he was uh, helping him out quite a bit. So I started bugging him a little bit and uh, yeah, finally figured this out. So like I said, credit to him for helping me out. So basically what I'm going to show you right now is uh, I've got a Paint Shop Pro and I'll do a tutorial on that next. But as you can see, this guy here looks a little more realistic. Everything looks like the dirt's kind of falling off of it and this is the paint dot net way so yeah it's not perfect but you know what you can still get your color and it's still going to show dirt not a real big issue um, hopefully I can put these two videos and, and get some things posted and see if we can figure out how to do it on GIMP um, if we go over to the new clean vehicle to give you an idea this right here is the uh, Photoshop, not Photoshop, Paint Shop Pro versions. You can see it looks a little more realistic. Or the Paint.net's real glossy, has a little different look to it. Honestly, I kind of like this look a little bit more anyway. But the color looks really good. But when you start looking at the other stuff, you can see where it's really glossy. It almost looks like it has like a snake skin to it. Uh, same thing here. Like you said, you have more of a flat look here. Actually, it's a little bit of a mesh. And you look at this guy; he's real shiny. Like I said, this is Paint.net. And this is the uh, Paint Pro shot. So anyway, I just I wanted to show you guys the difference. It's not it's not a deal breaker. Like I said, uh, this version's free. This version I can't remember how much I spent on it, but I know it's going to cost you 50 bucks or more anyway. Or if you can figure out uh, Photoshop. So let's jump out of here and we'll get right to it. It's very fast, simple process. Once you figure it out, it's just very frustrating. I couldn't find any English tutorials on it at all so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually open up the actual mod um, we're gonna go to the paint.net and it's in the textures um, I already pulled these guys from the game file we're gonna go ahead and grab these two files and we're just gonna copy them in here copy replace copy replace what you do you start with your diffuse and, and if you guys don't have paint.net it's a real easy to find. Just start searching like anything else. Maybe I'll put some links. Um, but it's yeah, very easy to find. I'm trying to remember if the DDS plugins automatically on it or not. You might have to look for the DDS plugin. But anyway, so here we go. So basically, it's as simple as if you don't have the tool, bring up the tools menu. Um, it's I think on dockable here. So if you're not seeing it, click on that and it, it pops it up for you. You're just going to grab this uh, magic wand and another program is called Mass Tool. We're just going to click on this is the red that we want to change. The, the end game was red. So you just click on this, this red. And you're going to come up to Adjustments. You're going to go to Hue and Saturation. You're going to desaturate all the way down and then turn your lightness all the way up. It's basically turning as white as you can get. You're going to go ahead and hit OK. At this point, I go ahead and I hit File, Save As, make sure we're in the right spot. Yep, Paint.net, Diffuse. We're going to hit Save. <clears throat> Already exists. That's okay. Hit yes. We want DTX1. Generate Mitmat. And we're going to hit OK. Now the Diffuse part is done. That's the easy part. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the Specular. And this looks really crazy, and basically all you have to do is look at it because you're not going to really mess with this file. You're going to basically copy and paste some stuff. So this is the way I did it. There might be a better way. This is the way I did it. I basically, I go to Edit, I'm going to Select All, I'm going to go Edit, Copy, there's keyboard shortcuts, but I'm trying to do it this way so you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go Edit. I basically select my specular, sorry for that. Show you what I actually did. I'm gonna go edit, paste into new layer. 
Now, we're going to go back to this mask tool, or magic tool. We're going to click on this again. And we're going to hit Edit, Invert Selection. Then we're going to go to our Layers tool. It's on my other screen. And we're going to select that specular layer. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Delete. That's kind of goofy, you don't really see it going on here, but basically I was using the layer, this layer, to select the white and then invert it to all this outer area because basically we're going to do everything but that white now. It's actually what's going to change colors. But if you actually go to that background right there, if we hide this, as you can see we deleted everything but that red area, the original red, which is white now. So we're basically done with that layer that we brought in. So you can actually click on this guy again, hit X. And all we have left is the background for the specular. So we're going to hit File, Save As, Save, Yes. And this time we're going to go DTX5 Alpha. We do not want them in that. I'm going to hit OK. And go ahead and close this out. And what I'm going to do, just to show you that I actually did do this, I'm just going to do a new folder. We're going to grab this specular, this diffuse. We're going to copy it over here. And take these guys again. We're going to copy them over here. Just to show you that I actually did it. I'm <laughs> going to open up the game. Because this is what will happen if you don't, if you just try to do your color. This is what's going to happen. It's going to not work. I tried so many different ways. I had instructions on how to do it with the with the Paint Shop Pro version, and I wasn't figuring out. I wasn't following the instructions correctly. But you can see, obviously, uh, something's not right. It's not the same color. Um, this guy here is the Paint.net, or I'm sorry, is the uh, uh, Paint Shop Pro, and this is the Paint.net. As you can see, it did not change colors, and also. Oh, must have an update popping up because my screen popped off. Sorry about that. You can see it's supposed to be blue because they actually changed the white GPS on top. If we run over here, it's going to be the same thing. See how this guy's green? This guy, as you can see, it's really weird colored and it has like a, a green overlay where stuff is supposed to be either yellow or black. That's what happens when you don't have it set up right. And this guy over here is just red. As you can see how the, the black is really, it's like a bled through. And that was the issues I was having. I was able to get the colors to change, but it was bleeding through and causing me issues. So, let's get back out. We're pulling them changes. Yeah, I thought I had an update popping up on me. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these two files that we saved. Just copy them back over here. Copy, replace. Copy, replace. Close. I'm not going to get into the, the XML stuff. Um, I can kind of show you real quick, but that'd be a different tutorial, basically. Um, and maybe what I'll do is I'll put a maybe I'll put a link to the file, to a small file that basically shows you how to do it. But it basically, you have to find the node for the visibility on the color itself. And then this is just a basic call for it. Well, it's a pretty simple thing. Like I said, you can always download this tractor if you want. It's in my mods list. Um, I'll try to put that on the video as well. Let's go back to the tractor. Career. Color tutorial. Start. As you can see, ta-da! We now have two tractors the same color. As you can say, as you can see, like I said, the top area where we kept the specular, that's where it looks correct, and the other areas are just really dirty. As you can see, even up top, we'll go to another tractor clip. Both of them are the same color. We have the white up top, 
and the green where it's supposed to be. Um, over here is orange where it's supposed to be and white. Like I said, unless you really zoom in and look at these fenders and see some different detail there, like I said, it almost looks like snakeskin. The best way I can explain it, real shiny, which has to do with the specular. So, so that was uh, pretty painless and quick. Like I said, once again, credit the Lars. O2, he pops in once in a while. Uh, he helped me out trying to figure out the whole specular thing. I was pulling my hair out, and we finally got it done with his help. So, like I said, we'll uh, we'll jump out of here. I'll stop the stream if anybody's watching live, and I'm gonna flip over and we're gonna do the uh, Paint Shop Pro version. And uh, I'll give credit to the dude that helped me out there. See you in just a second, guys.